Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a custom thumbnail for your YouTube videos. So this isn't exactly a Photoshop tutorial, but it's using Photoshop and hopefully you can learn a few things. And if you're here to figure out how to get the best custom thumbnail, hopefully you can figure out how to do that. So first things first, if you have the still image or picture from your video that you want to use for your thumbnail, it's probably not going to be the right size off the bat. YouTube's thumbnail actually works in a 16 by 9 resolution. So if you click on the crop tool and type in 16 by 9, it'll automatically, um, in Photoshop CS6 at least, automatically show you the crop box. If you're using other versions of Photoshop you might have to click and drag and it'll automatically keep it in a 16 by 9 proportion. And then you just want to position it in an interesting composition. And then hit enter. Now from this point of course you can edit the contrast and and adjust the photo and things like that. like image adjustments, brightness contrast, maybe give it some more contrast so it stands out. I have several tutorials on color effects and things like that if you want to make your photo pop, but that's a separate idea. But if you have your picture and you can edit it at this point, but once you have the size right, that's the first step. The next thing is, is it can't be too big. It has to be under two megabytes. So if you go to image, image size, a good uh, a good rule of thumb is to do it 1280 by 720 and that's a a good proportion for YouTube to have <clears throat> and mine is one pixel off for some reason but that won't really make a difference from this point you have your basic thumbnail set and it's the right dimensions and everything so aside from adjusting the photo effects or the contrast or maybe blurring the background so the foreground pops, you can add text. Um, it's a, If you go to your text toolbar, you can maybe add a video title to attract some viewers like let's say this video is about the new iPhone. And of course this thumbnail is going to be a lot smaller when it's on the YouTube play page. So you want to make your text pretty large because even though you can read it right now when you're editing it at like a thousand pixels, when it's on the YouTube play page it'll, it'll shrink it down even more so you want it to still be visible. Um, and then you want to pick a color of course that stands out from your background. I'll do white and then just so you can still read it I'll right click on the layer, the text layer and select blending options and then I'll, I'll add a uh, I'll add an outer glow so I'll, I'll click on the outer glow tab I'll change it to something like a bright blue I'll change the blending mode to hard light and then I'll increase the size and spread a little bit if you want you can even add things like a drop shadow or a stroke to make it very legible so once you're happy with your text, you go ahead and, and click OK. And if, if you want, you can add whatever else you want, like a border and whatnot. Let's say you want to add a border. I'll just do it just because I mentioned it. I'll go to Layer, New Layer. I'll Command, click on my layer. Oh, actually, that doesn't work because there's nothing there. I'll actually grab my rectangular marquee tool select the entire canvas and then I'm going to go to right click stroke inside you want to pick a border color I'll pick a dark blue and I'll do it at about 25 pixels select OK and then I'll right click and deselect that's if you want a border you don't have to have a border I just thought I'd show you how to do it since I mentioned it so at this point you can go to file, save as, and you, um, 
YouTube lets you use a few different formats, but I just like to go with JPEG. You can't really tell the quality difference and it's easy to use. And then just go ahead and save it wherever you'd like and name it whatever you'd like. So and uh, go ahead and save it. I like to use maximum quality. Pretty much anything that's under two megabytes of will be allowed to be used on YouTube. So unless you go super complicated, it should be under two megabytes. If it's not, then you can just uh, go to image, image size, and lower it a little bit so that it's not as data heavy. So once you click save, you should have that JPEG file on your desktop or whatever folder you decided to save it in ready for you to use. Because when you go to upload your video, uh, it, YouTube will have a custom select custom thumbnail button. You can click it, it'll open up a browser, and you can select that file that you just made. Now what I like to do since I make thumbnails a lot for all my different videos is I just have a preset template that I've made in Photoshop that I can, it's a PSD file that I can go back and edit at any time. So it's the right size of 1280 by 720 pixels and it's already got my text layers set up. So let's say I have my image, instead of cropping it and doing all that, I can just take my image layer, drag it into my preset template here go to edit trans or edit free transform and then I'm just dragging it over till I can find the corner and then if I hold shift and alt or option I can drag it down keep dragging it down to a nice size I'll increase it a little bit I can drag it down to a nice size and then position it where I like and then boom I, already, I, I can just go to file save as JPEG or from this point I can uh, do a little bit of image adjustments but I already have the canvas set up for me so that I can just drag and drop my pictures where I like and I already have the text that I use throughout all my videos so if you're a viewer you can recognize that this is my video because you always see the same style of thumbnail that I use. So of course um, that, that can change from, from video to video but hopefully you learned how to make a custom thumbnail, some, some ideas when you're making a thumbnail, what to do, what to look for, and uh, maybe you learned how to use some different tools in Photoshop as well. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video feel free to leave me a like, share the video, um, if you have any questions, give me a comment or send me an email at justasgood at gmail.com and let me know if you have an idea for a video or a question for a video in the future. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.